With a big push towards electric vehicles, Kawasaki have thrown their hat in the ring, but they are edging their bets, perhaps not convinced that electric vehicles will be the future of transport, as alongside their new electric motorbike, they revealed a hybrid model and a hydrogen concept at this year's ICMA show. In this video, we'll have a look at all three and what details are available. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive in. Starting with the electric bike, there are two versions, a Z-style naked bike and a fared ninja Ninja bike, and these electric bikes have more than a passing resemblance to Kawasaki's Z and Ninja 400s, no doubt sharing a number of parts with their combustion engine counterparts. The new bikes have a steel trolley frame and a box section swing arm. The swing arm appears to be the same as the 400s, but the frame is different. And of course, the biggest difference is that it houses batteries and an electric motor. There are twin batteries that sit under where the tank would be. Together, they total three kilowatt hours, and I understand they are removable, which would certainly make charging a lot easier. The motor is 11 kilowatts, which is around 15 horsepower, so some way off the performance of the 400s with 45 horsepower or 33 0.4 kilowatts. Still, the electric bikes are A1 license legal and have enough performance for the city, which is no doubt where they are intended to be used. The bikes run a single gear, so the clutch is gone, as is the clutch lever. However, one thing to note is that Kawasaki have not replaced it with a scooter brake, instead leaving the rear brake control for your right foot and your left hand with the sole task of holding on. Production is expected to start next year in 2023. Kawasaki's hybrid model, which is expected a year later in 2024, has only been revealed as a fully fared Ninja model so far. It is expected to run the 400cc parallel twin engine with the electric motor backing it up, and the battery being charged by the engine. Details are a bit thin on the ground for the hybrid, but from the shots of the left handlebar, we can see that it will have a semi-automatic gearbox, with full auto and push-button manual modes, as like many maxi scooters. There is a ride mode switch too, which hints at different options of interaction between the engine engine and the electric motor, and as with the full electric models, the absence of a scooter brake means that the rear brake stays where you would expect it to be. There also appears to be a walk mode for slow speed manoeuvring under pure electric power. Moving over to the right handlebar, there is an interesting button labelled E-Boost, presumably allowing full engine and electric power together to give maximum performance, but for a limited period. The combination of combustion and electric power in a hybrid machine has been shown to be significantly more environmentally sound over a vehicle's life cycle than purely electric, mainly down to the way electricity is still produced and the materials used for the battery. There is a link to the video with these graphs in the description for anyone who wants to check out the full presentation. It appears Kawasaki aren't quite sold on the electric future either, as they have also revealed this their hydrogen combustion bike, and that's important to note. It doesn't use a hydrogen fuel cell to produce electricity, it uses a hydrogen combustion engine. In fact, its mix of ZZR and H2S appearance is not just fairing deep. The engine is a modified version of the supercharged Kawasaki H2 engine, running purely on hydrogen. In this guise, the main exhaust gas is water vapour with some nitrogen oxides, although these could perhaps be filtered out in the exhaust pipes. And there is time for further development, as Kawasaki are expecting a practical production version in the early 2030s, depending on supply infrastructure. And they are not alone. Kawasaki are developing their hydrogen combustion in partnership with Yamaha and Toyota. The hydrogen canisters you see in the panniers are part of that, with the idea of being able to carry the hydrogen fuel with you and fuel up anywhere you go. JCB, yes, the heavy plant machinery manufacturer, have also developed a hydrogen combustion engine, as electric power is not feasible for heavy machinery. So perhaps the electric future still has a big question mark over it. I would certainly rather ride Kawasaki's H2 hydrogen bike than the electric offering they have here. But what do you think? Do you see an electric future for transport, or do you think hydrogen will be the long-term answer? Maybe you are crossing your fingers for a viable synthetic fuel. Let me and others know in the comments. I, for one, would be interested to know. In the meantime, click here for more, but whatever you do, have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.